We certainly have gone beyond whether if we will use AI, but rather how we will use AI. But we still see AI adoption curve lag behind expectations, especially when it comes to looking at them from the enterprise level. And here's one way to dissect the industry into three segments, AI applications, agentic applications, and AI native. So given this framework, I'll be covering how AI adoption plays at each of these segments and drill down on specific on barriers in AI adoption. A quick shout out to Woven sponsoring this video, more on them later. AI applications solve immediate problems that are meant to help us with tasks. Applications like ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Copilot fit into this category, and you can use them at your disposal. Without changing how you get work done, you can use this tool optionally to get something done or just do it the old way without it. Totally up to you. And typically, these applications have lower barriers to entry from you since it's relatively non-invasive in nature and require little upkeep and little information from you or your system. So AI adoption on the AI application level is a lot higher since the barrier to entry is extremely low and they more or less help you get things done faster on a task level. Agentic applications are a bit more invasive than AI applications because they are autonomous by nature. The barrier to entry is slightly higher since they require more from you and your systems to get going. And they're meant to go beyond a simple task completion tool, but deeper into the workflow. And contrary to popular belief, agentic applications are actually pretty rare mostly because people either aren't ready for it or they just don't want them because it generally doesn't solve the right problem. And finally, AI native, which is a relatively new and uncharted territory, but worth mentioning because it's sort of like the golden snitch from Harry Potter, where catching the golden snitch is difficult, but if someone ends up catching it, the game ends in your favor, even if you are losing the game in the first place. The idea behind AI native is that everything starts and ends with AI systems front to back. So tasks, workflows, and systems, all of it. And while you might have a lot of skepticism towards AI native, since most organizations try to adopt AI from outside in, meaning they try to automate existing tasks using AI applications, then transition into agentic applications to automate workflows, and then finally apply AI systematically. But if you think about it from startups that have the luxury of starting from scratch, this fits into the narrative of golden snitch analogy, where if executed right, it could be just as viable as the other way around. Now, keep in mind that the topic is not about what strategy works best in adopting AI, but rather looking at the current landscape of AI-based applications and how they're being adopted by the public and organizations to draw insights on what AI adoption actually looks like. Let's start with an application that we are all familiar with, which is ChatGPT. The reason why ChatGPT is a really good example to start with is because the barrier to using ChatGPT is probably lower than most AI applications that we have today. And that's because the learning curve is so low to start using it, and you don't need to connect ChatGPT with other systems to start seeing values from it. You just log in and start asking questions. But just as easy as it is to start using ChatGPT, a lower barrier to entry typically means lower return on value. Meaning, if you look at it from return on investment for ChatGPT, it's somewhat fixed to the amount of work going in to get the value out. For example, if you wanted to use ChatGPT to write an essay, you put in all the work in defining the scope and parameters of the essay to get around 70% of the work done by ChatGPT. So the value that ChatGPT brings is somewhat tied to the effort that you put in since it's an isolated system that only helps you with the tasks that you give, which in this case is writing an essay. Another example is coding agents like Cloud Code or Klein. Even though these applications are advertised as agentic applications, applications, in reality, we use them to solve specific tasks like writing code, modifying code, and code reviews. So here, even though Cloud Code carries out tasks agentically, where it autonomously reads and writes code in your code base, they are not a true agent in a sense because they don't go beyond a simple task completion tool. In other words, completing tasks agentically is not the same as agent autonomously completing tasks. And meanwhile, we have news articles like the Anthropic CEO saying that AI could be writing 90% of their code within six months. Meta also saying 20 to 30% could be written by AI. And Microsoft also saying that 30% of the code in Microsoft could be written in AI. So looking at these figures, it certainly feels like AI is about to disrupt the entire coding industry. But the reality is that these projections are still focusing on a task level, meaning 
saying because AI applications are getting more and more effective in task completion, like writing new code, modifying existing code, and reviewing code, the AI applications are more like task delegation tool where we ask AI to complete a specific task. And delegating tasks are important, especially when it comes to hiring people, which is why I wanted to do a quick description of Woven sponsoring this video. I've been looking to hire a software developer in my previous company, and one thing I always found was that candidates always had different skill sets, and some people were really good at code reviews, and others were good at system debugging, and now with AI, agentic programming. So coming up with coding evaluations for each role took a lot of time and effort to build scenarios and give feedback. It just wasn't fun for everyone involved in the process. Woven is a human-powered technical assessment tool that makes hiring streamlined. So if you're looking to hire engineers, Woven is offering 14 days free trial with 20% off of your first hire. Check the link in the description. So while we truly are seeing complete disruption on task level, where tasks like writing code, reviewing literature, modifying existing code, and code reviews, things start to look differently when it comes to agentic applications. Even though AI applications can certainly complete tasks agentically, agentic application is a different paradigm where it goes beyond task completion, but rather workflow automation and autonomous execution. Let's think of this scenario. Let's say I wanted to sell you an AI calendar app, but I gave you two different explanations. First, this is an AI application that helps you manage your calendar. And second, this is an AI application that manages your calendar. Although the wording is similar, the impact is quite different. The first statement, the AI application that helps me manage my calendar, I would be more inclined to use it since I don't have to change how I already manage my calendar, but it could help with calendar related tasks like adding appointments and changing schedules. In other words, trying this application doesn't require me to change how I currently manage my calendar, but it's more or less a faster way to get done what I already get done. But the second statement is quite different. Since it's an application that manage my entire calendar, I would be more reluctant to try it because I have to relinquish how I already manage my calendar to this new agentic application. So the core difference here is that AI application helps you solve the problem you already know that you have since when you ask something, it completes calendar tasks, but within your existing workflow that you might already be satisfied with. But agentic application is quite different. It tries to take over the entire workflow, even if you never felt like the workflow itself was a problem. This kind of shift can cause unnecessary friction. So therein lies the current gap in AI adoption when it comes to agentic application, which is are agentic applications truly solving the right problem that people have? What's actually common to see is that we have a situation where agentic applications become an overkill and people essentially reduce agentics application into a simple task completion tool, sort of like owning a Lamborghini, but living in a school zone. And that's because while an agentic application might be more powerful than AI application, solving problems that exist on a workflow level is so unique and complex that it's hard to not throw the baby with the bathwater. And here's a really cool analogy. In computer science, there's a common metric called time and space complexity, where it measures the scalability of performance as the input size scales. For example, if the complexity is O of n squared, that means that if you double the input size, the upper bound in time and space that's needed to solve that problem is quadrupled. So this makes scaling very inefficient. Now, if you transfer this kind of framework into AI adoption and the input size is human resources, we can draw a similar insight where as the size of the organization grows, the complexity in adopting AI likely grows unscalably. In other words, adopting AI into an organization that has 100 employees will take proportionally less complexity than an organization that has 1,000 employees. And this is why most gains in value from AI are still reduced down to the individual rather than the sum. In other words, employees are finding ways to improve their individual tasks to code faster, code better, and execute tasks rather than trying to use AI on an organizational level. And trying to force AI into an organization often creates an uglier outcome at the expense of making some parts really good. And this is also reflected in the Dora report that says that AI is an amplifier that magnifies the strength of high-performing organizations and the dysfunctions of struggling ones. The report goes on to say, in well-aligned organizations, AI amplifies flows, in fragmented ones, it exposes pain points. So therein lies the question, is AI adoption capped at the task level? Meaning, are AI applications only as helpful as helping individuals complete tasks, or are we yet to see how AI can transform beyond individuals in completing tasks and towards a true agentic system where it can autonomously decide how to interact with the real world and bring value in an organizational level? Similar sentiment can also be found in the Dora report that says, without intentional changes in workflows, roles, 
governance and cultural expectation, AI tools are likely to remain isolated boosts in an otherwise unchanged system, a missed opportunity. To scale AI's impact, organizations should invest in redesigning their systems. So are we better off adopting AI from inside out rather than outside in? Meaning, will organizations that master every task with AI outperform newer organizations that might adopt AI natively, but with the advantage of pivoting to changing demands by employing AI at every stage of the company.